King Gary has no happiness. His day be filled with crappiness. But Lord Magnus with his crimson hair. Has devised a plan to save the fair. With a hey and, and a ho and a naughty naughty nart. How will we defeat this vile Malmart? Finish him, my liege? Nay, good Sir Mike. Thy displays of manliness notwithstanding, I take no pleasure today in blood sport. Verily, shall nothing relieve me of my unease? Sir Craig the Stout-Hearted, oft I wonder, what would you do were you with us here today? But it's just not. Are you holding auditions for royalty soon? No, we already did auditions this year. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Because I'm totally interested in auditioning for princess. I just thought you should know that. Oh, well, Cindy's our princess. I know. And... I love Cindy. Right. Well, you know, keep because at it and totally maybe one day you can be princess. princess. What? what? Nothing. A thousand thanks for meeting us here, my liege. You know Sir Dredrick of Allen Town, yes. I do believe. Yes, yes, so we've met. Hello. My liege, tis duty true to serve you so. <laughs> duty. Yes, okay, guys, can we try to keep it to normal conversation patterns as we are in a public place where actual people from the present go? Okay, so you guys have uh, come up with some sort of a plan. Uh, yes. Are we making a plan or are we playing a game? Noble Kent, a good general knows the time for talk, the time for silent observance, and the time for visual aids. Aye. Now, the fair be here. The nearest mall mart is in Bethany Beach, five leagues away. Under cover of night, we launch two bands of horsemen taking alternative routes and circumnavigating the police station on Route 370. Meanwhile, three of our most trustworthy and docile looking have infiltrated the enemy camp, posing as regular people who have come to shop for wares. They shan't remain docile for long. Oh, no. At closing time, our Trojan horse will start a most chaotic distraction. Ah! Ah! Screaming! Yelling! Come, it shall be knocked from the rocks! Aye! While our horsemen will arrive yes. and go into berserker mode. Are you guys planning on ordering anything? Or? Come back when called for, wench! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, just give us a couple minutes, please. So, our horsemen have gone into berserker mode. Ah, yelling, screaming, ah, ah, summoning the manager, who will be forced at the point of sword to call the corporate office, and they will call off the whole venture. We'll have a right bloody time of it, my lord. Uh, and then, the aliens come <gasps> in their spaceship, and they attack the horsemen. Swoop, but we shall defeat them! Quit There's falling no around, Aliens. Yes. That drink was a joke. I know that Kent and I will survive the fair, Poppy. Don't you worry about that. Not all that worry. Our love is strong like on television. Like guiding light strong. Like A.C. Mallet. He's my favorite character on GL. God, he is so sexy. <sighs> Like, 
AC and Marina strong. Do you watch Guiding Light? Oh, it's not a soap opera. It's a love story. Love stories really do come true, Ploppy. Or for some of us. For me, anyway. Which is why I'm worried about the fair closing, because, well, outside of the fair, Ken can be a little unattentive, if you can my meaning. You mean when you're not in the course that he doesn't fuck you right? What a lewd suggestion! Thou spakest like a peasant woman! Be gone with you! Oh, beautiful Princess Cyndia, we doth present you with music from the heart. The heart of Sir Kent. Serenade in the garden. He's so sweet. Go ahead, minstrels. Right. Tick tock, get up, stop, stop to the. Ooh, I want to sex you up. Let me take off all thy clothes. Disconnect thy phone so nobody knows. Yes. Let me light a candle so that we might make it better. Making love until we drown. Ooh, I'd like, like to, to sex you up. Well, my liege, what think you? Uh, 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 it, you know, I really appreciate all of thought you guys put into this, but I, I, you know, I, I do kind of sort of doubt that there's any legal way we can run a berserker raid on a mall part. Absolutely not. Massive litigation, property damage. But there will be intense property damage. Can I propose a crazy idea? We actually promote, advertise, keep track of our expenses even, you know, like a real business? Uh, I, 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 I don't know, Ben. That sounds awfully complicated. Uh, Gary. Gary. Do you know why you're my king? Because I hired you? Yes. But no. Because you make regal, kingly decisions. And I know you're gonna make another one right now. Look, we could burn this mall mart to the ground. Eureka! But, but, there'll be another mall mart coming in right after it. Or Stan's Club, or God forbid, an Arlington Coat Factory. Tis a vortex of despair, the Arlington Coat Factory. Look, the only way for us to permanently stave off these attackers is to get the fair back in the black and to buy back our land. Thank you. And if that requires us to put up a huge highway billboard of me on my noble steed, so be it. Look, we have to do what we have to do. You know, Kent, you're right. You'll make a fine king one day. My manager said you guys can't just sit here without ordering anything. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll have a small coffee. And I shall have the banana chocolate chip coffee cake most immediately. Let me take off all thy clothes. Disconnect thy phone so nobody knows. Yes. Let me light a candle so we might make it better. Making love until we drown. Ooh, I want to sex you up. Ooh, I'd like to sex you up. Ooh, I'd like to sex you up.